Yeah, Coach 1980 is back. It's halftime right now. I usually don't make my videos until after the game or, you know, somewhere in the fourth quarter where I know we're going to win or we're going to lose or whatever. But since it's preseason and the second half really just don't matter, I'll just go ahead and make my review, my Coach 1980s review right now. Right this minute. How about that? All right, real quick, man. I'm going to try to make this as quick and as brief as possible. I know I always say that, but I always go over 10, 20 minutes, but I'm going to try to make this real fast. Let's start with the offense really first. The stand, not really the standouts, just the noticeables. I'm going to just call it that. The noticeables of the offense in the first, pretty much the first quarter, first half-ish. Let me start off with Garrett Gilbert. Um, still got some work to do. Uh, he's a he's a good thrower. He can throw the ball. He's he's pretty accurate. He's a good backup for Dak. I think he's our number two guy right now. Uh, I think Ben DiNucci is. I, I know Cooper Rush was playing at the end of the second quarter or whatever, and Ben DiNucci is probably going to come out and start the third quarter or maybe the middle of the end of the third quarter. Things that GG needs to work on is um, he has to work on hiking the damn ball uh, and watching the clock. Those two things are going to gonna really kill him. Now, I'm not going to blame everything on him. Uh, let's go to Connor Williams at center. Last week, he looked okay against Pittsburgh. And they were kind of getting, getting him some reps, you know, trying to see if he could be the backup behind Diddish. Uh He didn't do so good this game. Uh, a lot of high snaps, low snaps, uh, pretty much had Garrett Gilbert running for his life, pretty much. So that's not good. Uh, let's see. Lyle Collins actually played today and uh, solid, strong blocks, excellent blocks. Lost a little weight there, too. I was I finally got a chance to really get a good look at him. You know, he looks pretty slim. Footwork looked good. Handwork looked good. I mean, he just, he's a starter. So got his reps. They got him out of there really quick. Noah Brown. I didn't write Noah Brown on here, but uh, I think Noah Brown might make the roster this season. Uh, he's been on the practice team for years, guys, since he was 20 years old. So um, I, I wish the best for him because he, he you can tell he tries every year, you know. So let's just hope they can find somewhere for him on this team. Um, Cedric Wilson, the Cedric Wilson catch. He dropped one earlier, but he made up for it. Gil uh, Gilbert put it right where it was supposed to be. Uh, perfect throw, perfect catch. First down. Would have been better if it was a touchdown, but I'll take it. It is what it is. This is the progression. This is the process of training. I mean, of training camp, preseason. You're not going to see perfect plays. You're not going to see you know, big time numbers, big time catches all the time. This is just practice, guys. Don't put too much stock into the preseason, guys. It is just to get us ready for the regular season. You're going to see a lot of mistakes, a lot of things going, a lot of negative things, along with the positive uh, in the preseason. So don't get your hopes up or get your feelings hurt over, over, over what you see. Uh, I think that's all I got on um, the offensive side of the ball. Uh, let's move over to defense. Uh, Navelle Gallimore, uh, he was doing good up until he got injured. I, I don't know if it's arm or if it's, el if it's, his, if it's his elbow or whatever, but uh, he was on the ground grimacing and squirming. That's not a good sign. When a big guy like that is on the ground, all you see is teeth, you know, it's not good. You know, he's going to be out, you know, maybe for a couple of weeks. Hopefully he'll be ready for the, because uh, he's a starter. So that's why it's kind of hard to play your starters, man. I, I finally got a chance to watch Hard Knocks. Finally got a chance to watch Hard Knocks. And I was I was looking at um, Michael Parsons. He was upset because they were, he only had 11 snaps last game against Pittsburgh. And he was upset. He's young. He's hungry. I get it, you know. But 
when, when players get hurt, that's why they take you out, you know, because they don't want that to happen to you, you know, especially a, a young talent like Michael Parsons. So we need him. We need him this season. And I'll get to him in a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if it's arm or elbow. You know, he was grimacing or whatever, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Dorrance Armstrong. I'll, right now, he has two sacks. He has one covered sack and one uh, regular sack. Uh, he's doing good, man. He's, he's a good end. He's a really good end. Strong moves on the inside. And uh, he just, man, he's just doing pretty good in this game. I know it's the preseason. He's probably going against backups or whatever. But uh, from what I see, it looks good. Uh, Calvin Joseph. Woo! Man, uh, not having a really good game. Uh, he gets beat for a 30-yard catch. Needs to work on his footwork. Uh, he's getting, you know, kind of flustered, you know, when the receiver goes for that first and second juke. He's falling forward every time, hook, line, and sinker. And uh, I know he's young. He's trying to get his feet out from under him or whatever. But uh, if he's going to – he's fighting for a starting position on the outside corner. And you can't make those mistakes in the regular season, getting beat like that. You know, I know, he, like I said, like I just said, I know he's young. He's a rookie. He's got a lot to learn. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna try to be a starter, you got to really work on those mistakes that you're making right now. And that's what the preseason is for. The preseason is, is to for you to, as a cornerback, for you to get beat, for you to get 30 yard catches caught on you and everything. And that's what it's for. It, better now than later. You get what I'm saying? So. Um, I still think he's a pretty good corner. I just think he needs to work on his footwork. And uh, going against other teams, other receivers from other teams, is a really test to his uh, ability, you know. You get used to going, going against you guys every day that you know that's on the same team, got the same color zone, you know. It's a whole different ball game. You got somebody else lined up in front of you with a different color on a different team. So, uh, like I said, this is what the preseason is for. Uh, last but not least on the defensive side of the ball, Micah Parsons. Uh, man, this guy, this kid is, uh, he's going to be great. He's going to be great. He's always around the ball. Uh, very aggressive linebacker, sideline to sideline guy. And, uh, he's just, uh, man, uh, he's just always there. He's just always around, which is a good sign for a linebacker, especially an outside linebacker. Outside linebackers are supposed to be able to cover, you know, tight ends and all these hybrid tight ends that are coming in. He's really fast. I heard Zeke said in hard knocks that, Man, this guy is fast. I can't get away from him, you know. So, big ups to Michael Parsons, man. Keep up the hard work. Keep up the good work. Positive work. Stay healthy, most important. Everybody stay healthy in this preseason. We got, what, two more games to go? Uh, Dak didn't play. Zeke didn't play. Coop didn't play. Obviously, the big guys didn't play. Uh, Tyler Smith, you know. Uh, Lyle Collins was the only – him and uh, Connor Williams were the only starting linemen that, that played tonight. So, uh, we'll see, guys. Uh, I hope to see uh, – one of those guys I just named, one of those stars I just named, uh, at least one or two of them next game. Because um, I would like to, you know, you don't want to just throw them out there in the regular season. They got to they gotta feel it. They got to, I know it's, we do, they do it in practice or whatever, but they got to feel that intensity from another team, a guy that really wants to take their heads off, you know, and uh, especially Dak Prescott, see if he can take a hit and things like that. So, but that's all I, I think that's all I got. Oh, God damn, Jalen Smith, man. Did y'all see him? I mean, he looked, I don't know if he's, God bless him, you know. Uh, he hustles. He, he, poor baby, he does the best he can. I mean, he's a starting linebacker, for God's sakes, but he just don't have that burst anymore. It's just, it's gone. He just, he can't keep up. He's always on the chase, always on the chase. If you see something I don't, let me know. But that, that's what I'm seeing. Oh, and this is just preseason. But he's always on the chase, man, and he just doesn't have the speed that it takes to, uh, you know, he, luckily he's that middle linebacker. He doesn't have to chase, you know, cover too much, you know, uh, a little bit, but not as much as the outside linebackers. But uh, that, that, that's all I got, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this preseason game, if I'm wrong or right, you know, whatever. I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I don't act like I know everything. My shit stinks too. So we got a lot, a lot of offseason, a lot of preseason to go. And uh, we got a lot to clean up, a lot to work on. We're making all our mistakes right now, which is a good thing. It's good to make the mistakes because you know what you need to work on in the long run. It'll help you. So uh, you got to crawl before you walk. 
You get what I'm saying? You got to fall off that bike a couple of times before you can run. I mean, uh, ride that bike with no hands. You see what I'm saying? So, but that's all I got, man. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. All about this boy. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them cowboys?